Hey, what is up, guys? Fuzzy GFAX here with a layer styles tutorial. Now, instead of sending you like preset ones and just ones that you might not enjoy or like, I'm actually going to show you how to make your own. Now, layer styles is really straightforward and simple, but I will just show you how to make a nice gradient effect or any kind of effect you wish to make. Just pull up the size so you can see that. Now let's choose a nice font, let's type, let's put it in caps, tutorial. Okay, so we got some nice text here, maybe if we just change the font, Helvetica, yep, I like Helvetica, put that down. Okay, so we got our text. Now, uh, you see, like, I have the um, Photoshop preset ones because I don't like downloading them. This one I made it, this is just for like when you've got a lot of stuff in the background, it's just like an indent feature. If you want me to put this up for download, I don't know how to do that, but I'll probably try to find out. If you guys tell me in the comments, then I'll do it. Anyway, back to the tutorial. Let me just get rid of that. Okay. So, first off, get into the layer style panel. And go somewhere where you can just see the text. I think that's okay. Okay. Now, first thing I like to do is add a drop shadow. Drop shadow, you can do whatever you want. You can make it like this, or you can make it really up close and just bring up the size so you just get this kind of shaded effect. Maybe put the spread up a bit. Yeah, like that. Put the size down. Spread lower. Okay. I'll say around. 166 and change this to 90 and take off global light. Change the angle to 90. Now you can do whatever you want with this, but I prefer to keep it on multiply. Now, next is inner shadow, but I like to add that last when I've got my gradient on. So we'll add gradient. Now, there's a bunch of gradients that you can do, like I've pre installed a lot. You see red, it's nice ones, but I'm gonna cancel that and just make a nice one myself. So, the background's white, so I don't want to use that color. Just make it kind of like, just a tiny bit darker than white. Kind of really light grayish. And then the black, that's too dark, make it kind of dark gray. Just like that. Now, the scale, that's just like, uh, the middle part, how much do they blend into each other. You can keep that at 100. You can also mess about where the gradient starts by clicking and moving it about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down to z to 10 and I'm going to make the colors kind of the same but not really there. So you just kind of get like a glossy look. So move it up, reverse it. Nope, keep that. So you kind of get this line gloss effect make it a little bit lighter you just want to make it a tiny bit darker so there you go bring the drop shadow a bit down I think to 3 turn this down to 3 133 that's fine now some inner shadow put the distance to 0 global light off degrees angle 90 bring up the size I'll say around 1 or maybe 3 or 2 2 Okay, so we've got the simple basic text with the black drop shadow and inner shadow. Let's add some inner glow. Now, the inner glow, you change the color, change the color to white, and you change the blending mode to overlay. Change the opacity to 100%. You can change that if you want later. So, all you're doing here is changing the size as much as you want. I'm just going to make it make it 10. Then bring down the opacity a bit. I think that looks okay. If you want, you can add a stroke to give it this kind of extra line to it. Let's make it kind of overlayish. See if it makes a difference. Not really. I think it looks better without it. Well, that's the simple layer styles. All we did was add drop shadow, inner shadow, inner glow, and gradient overlay. Then you get this nice gradient text effect. Now we just change the color so you can actually see the difference. Okay, gradient. Just find bluish, kind of greenish. 
reverse that. Okay, well, there you have it. Simple blending effect. As you see, you can see that little gloss effect. Not that much, but you can just see it. That's what makes it look nice. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked this tutorial. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As I'm looking forward to making a series on this. Give me your opinions. If there's anything you're having trouble with, just tell me in the comments below. And I'll see if I can make a tutorial on it. Maybe comment back or add my Skype and I can help you out with it through text. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.